clear to the Victoria Cannibal Asylum. Oh, what a feeling. and so they should you know they put a lot of work into it because it can be a very rewarding profession and it's like anything in life the more you put into it the more you get out of it and Aaron Spateri is amongst that fine group of young riders who are making a name for themselves here in uh, Melbourne and indeed around Australia Tim Gossage any news from the betting ring still coming for our Aaron Peter yes Shane Dyer's man our Aaron $8.70 on the tone a couple of points shorter in the ring Nova Claus and Sly Sandra will jump equal favourites. Best money in the race, though, is for Shane Dyer's mount, our Erin. And it will come from uh, a wide gate here in the cliff brown colours of the uh, red with the black and white checks and the white sleeves. Dan Maliki's getting ready as Bestie is uh, just given a bit of a warm-up to come up towards the gates. Gary Willits, what did you like? Well, funny you should mention Bestie. I thought Bestie looked very well, and I put that in. You know, if you're taking a trifecta, you'd have to put it in. I like the look of the eight Nova Claws. I thought Distant Beauty looks very well one the other day and drops three and a half kilos and the other one was number three sly sandra a bit different from the sandra we know but uh this will be interesting this race dan because you'll uh this is where we'll really find out how this track is first circle race for the day it's over 2000 distant beauty going in now and they're all set to go mare's locked away given now and they're off and racing dame kath a little slow danish habit eased out of it early a slice sandra wasn't all that flash to begin she usually races up on the pace is in about sixth spot now prada aura in search of the lead from kim angel and vesti then slice sandra to fourth from ruby toff the inside a little wider veil with distant beauty duke crazy and hooker pushing through in the middle duke crazy very deep there then nova claws a bit worse than midfield on the inside of thursday's child and light work then danish habit on the fence as nova claws gets one away from the rails strictly jazz back to third last and then dame kath and now erin out the back of the field 1400 meters to go plata aura the leader from distant beauty now up to second Sly sandra a length and a half away third two lengths away vesti fourth a half back fifth is duke crazy now one away from the rails then kim angel and vale next is hooker the inside ruby toff between runners thursday's child and light work three deep next is nova claus danish habit was on the inside uh two lengths away dame kath is back to second last and now erin's around it strictly jazz is about fourth last but is sitting out three or four wide about 900 to go and the leader plata aura just in front of distant beauty they try and slow up just a little bit here sly sandra is going up to make a line of three two lengths away vesti and then duke crazy next is vale they're getting away from the rails now and then kim angel hooker thursday's child next is strictly jazz at very wide as sly sandra took over before the turn at the 600 meters she's well away from the rails and got two lengths in front of distant beauty then came duke crazy in behind runners was plata aura vesti going through on the inside and then came white out vale from light work and then came hooker nova claws well back but sly sandra going for home at the 400 is out by three lengths to distant beauty kim angel into the clear now nova claws running on and down the outside our erin sly sandra the leader nova claws and our erin are running on strongly but sly sandra's got four lengths second at the moment nova claws our erin then dame kath sly sandra two in front our erin and nova claws are coming sly sandra a length in front our erin running out of ground and sly sandra wins it half a length our erin second nova claws has run third then dame kath and kim angel next in thursday's child a good gap then to strictly jazz distant beauty and hooker uh, back behind them Duke crazy danish habit light work and then veil plata aura ruby toff gee well what a game ride by craig williams and i saw our size sly sandra doing a little dance in the uh, 10 marquee then uh, dan with a cowboy hat yeah with the cowboy hat number three three seven eight of the numbers and it won easily sly sandra it was a gem of a ride oh. they looked like they were just trying to pull up a little bit of the 800 and that's when he went and it was a yeah. winning break yeah. now we're in terrific nova claws no excuses this time and she went pretty yes. well running third well here's uh craig williams on sly sandra and she's worked away but it was a really game ride he uh took it to the front you know about 
oh, just 600 metres from home and it's very hard to lead all the way. But Craig obviously knew what he was doing. I think he rode a similar when she won at uh, Caulfield. And right on the outside is uh, Al Aaron, ridden by Shane Dye. And uh, it's got home very well. But Sly Sandra, she's flowing. Got that brake on him and it's a bit hard to pick up. And that's right where we walked. He's picked the right spot on the track to be where all the new ground is. Because you've got to remember there's been 500 horses race on this track over the first three days. And um, there's been 37 races on it, and three today now. So there's 40 races. But she's gone to the line, she's held them all out. No overclaws, I couldn't make an excuse for today. Confident ride, but Craig does his homework. You would have noticed he rode a 100 to 1 winner during the Caulfield Cup Carnival, stuck to the fence when everyone else didn't want That's to. That's right. He's a very clever young man, and it's very good to good. see him ride a winner like, uh, like Sly Sandra. And, and although the winning margin was probably half a length at the end, she was probably not in any danger in the home stretch. No, no. It was, you know, as we said, it was a great ride, and he sort of got that break on him where all the others are all jostling for positions to get out there. But you can see the two right on the outside, Shane Dye in the quarter cap, Damien Oliver in the pink just inside of him. And then the gold with the breastplate there and the white blaze, that's Sly Sandra and Craig Williams got right away. Very good win. Very good win. Lee Hope, well, the trainer, Craig Williams, the jockey. That's Craig on screen giving the winner a pat. Peter Donegan in the mounting out. Yes, with the winning trainer, Lee Hope. Congratulations. Looks as though you've got some pretty excited owners here today. Oh, they're very, very happy today. And it's a listed race for them. And if she's going to go to start, it'll probably help her. Almost a replica of the last start win, and I thought Craig used his head in that race. They slackened the pace off over near the half mile, and he decided he wasn't going to sit there. He'd take advantage of it. That's correct, and look, that's the way she likes to race, is just bowl along. She's been very fortunate, like last time at Caulfield, the rain came, and then last night. It does uh, certainly help. Tell you what, I'd marry Dan Carter too. Yes, he's very marriageable. No, actually, I'd, I'd marry any one of the All Blacks. I'm not actually an Australian, I'm a New Zealander. I've just been putting on the accent because everyone gives a shit for it. What? I've been, I'm a Kiwi, I'm a Kiwi like you. Oh, how dare you? That's the shittest New Zealand accent I've ever heard. <laughs> you can keep your drunk, you Aussie duck. 